this exhibition is about an excavation, an excavation by the museum in the Ctesiphon in the late 1920s and the early 1930s. The reason of this excavation is that the scholars here in Berlin started because of the famous Mashata Passade in a Caliphal Palace, which is full of ornament back going back to Roman, Byzantium, and Sasanian elements, that they wanted to know how Islamic art came into being. As you know, Islamic art is not a field that is, uh, goes back much in history. It was developed in the late 19th, early 20th century, like many fields of scholarship um, uh, of the diverse societies. So while um, they were looking in the origin of Islamic art, they went back to the roots, of course, and uh, searched for them in the ground, in the soil of Iraq, of Iran, of Syria, Turkey, Egypt, and so on and so forth. Um, so Ketesiphon was a city which was close to Baghdad, the second caliphal um, uh, capital, um, with, which was founded in 762 by the Abbasid caliphs. Uh, but the question was, of course, what was exactly before Baghdad? Um, so the reason why they excavated was to go back to the years before Baghdad, which was then the capital un until 762 of the region was Ctesiphon. And um, this was been very interesting because Ctesiphon was known as a Persian and the Sasanian Empire's capital, but as well on an, an Islamic provincial capital, let's say, until Baghdad was founded. So this very link between the early Islamic period and the pre-Islamic period is very important as we see how do cultures, art, um, aesthetic practices, knowledge, um, or practices in society develop from the regional background in the Islamic period. As you know in the Quran, there's nothing written about art in specific, how you build a house, how you build a souk, what is, how you make your cup if you like it blue or white, if there's nothing in it, and people are free to develop what they wanted. And there's certainly, like always with cultures, um, people picked up on what they knew from their soil where they lived, from their culture where they lived in, or from new um, also uh, developments of cultural context uh, from transregional connections. So uh, it was no wonder, actually, that there is a close link between the late Sasanian and the early Islamic capital. So it's no wonder that you find a close link between the Sasanian, late Sasanian, and the early Islamic period. The same is true for Syria. If you go to Syria, you will find a very close link between the Byzantium and the late Byzantium to the early Islamic period. And if you look around all the region, uh, you can easily find this deep roots not only in the late antiquities, it means in the Byzantium and Sasanian period, but also in the antiquities before. All those is influential and is the foundation of what we call Islamic art. Ketesiphon, Sasanian, Sasanians. In Germany, you know, it sounds like a car uh, uh, company uh, or a, a Japanese um, uh, a kitchen supplier. Um, it is not, Ketesiphon doesn't mean anything to any German and Sasanians neither. So we try to, so to to tell the story about um, this empire and uh, about the city and make meaning for us today. There are many like carriers of, of pictures or images which um, continue to be used uh, after the Sasanian period into the Islamic period. I mean, the first thing which I uh, would mention are the coins, because the coinage, um, like for example from Khosrow II, remained uh, more or less unchanged, except that uh, we have an Arabic inscription that was added after the conquest of uh, Ctesiphon, where also the mint was, and the collapse of the Sasanian Empire in 651. So the, the first Islamic rulers used the same images and the fire altar on the back with two attendants on their coinage. So they did not resent to use the Sasanian coinage. They used it to spread their message. Um, 
Coinage, of course, is an important uh, carrier of messages. Um, uh, but it started only a little bit later, after a few decades, that the name of the Khalif was mentioned. And only after the coinage reform in 695, we have the complete replacement of the images and of the Middle Persian, uh, the Persian inscription, Tahlili inscriptions, by Arabic inscriptions only. Archaeological expeditions and the quest for objects for the newly founded museums in Europe um, prompted many scholars and interested people to, to travel and um, to, to build up their collections. And uh, our museum has uh, conducted a first excavation in 1911 at Samara, the Abbasid capital. And uh, after that, um, it, it took them, yeah, almost 20 years, I mean, like 18 years, to, um, to put up another mission to, um, to travel around and to select the site. They, they traveled the Euphrates and the Tigris with Sarah and Herzfeld, and they documented many sites. And they particularly chose Ctesiphon because it is exactly the transition from the Sasanian, the last pre-Islamic culture, dynasty, to the Islamic period that they believed was a key for understanding the development of Islamic art, culture and society.